Okay, so we're three games into the season and we're being outshot 49 to 111. We're being out attempted 99 to 101 or 201. We are, we've been outscored by 15. Um, so we've lost by an average of five every game. We are only winning 35% of our faceoffs in the defensive zone. So we need to start playing better defense when we do take faceoffs in the defensive zone. So we're going to start with the easiest thing that I can give us, which is we're going to um, get in better positioning just on defense. So I'm not going to put any plays in. We're not going to have any fancy breakout plays right now. We're just going to focus on if we win, this is what we do. If we lose, this is what we do. And I think we should be able to get the puck out of the zone a lot quicker. And we should also be able to cause a lot more turnovers, break it out faster, get in shooting lanes, keep pucks away from the net. Um, so let's look at this and we'll, we'll watch it. And then we can put it in practice. And I think we can um, make some progress and, and start playing a lot, a lot better. All right. Good luck or enjoy. Okay, this is gonna be our setup every time. We have the left wing in the slot. Next to him is gonna be the left D. Right wing, strong side wing in this case, is gonna be shoulder to shoulder in the inside of him. And then the right D will be on the far boards, up as close as he can to, I guess, the line of scrimmage or whatever you wanna call it in hockey. So, no matter what, everyone kinda of has a first step on this play. Okay, the center, Win or lose, he's got to at least get in the way of the opposing center and make sure he's not a threat right away. The left wing will go towards the D-man in the slot maybe one or two steps while he reads what happens. The left D is going to worry about that right wing closest to him. Uh, and the right D is going to kind of hang out and then retreat back towards the net. In this case, the most important part is what the strong side winger does. In this case, it's the right wing. Win, lose, or draw, doesn't matter what happens, you are going straight in that route towards the far D-man. First, we're going to go through what happens if we win it back cleanly. Okay, so when we do this, when we win the puck back into the corner like we want to on every draw in the defensive zone, this is our best chance to clear the zone. And that's the number one thing. It's not possession. It's not getting a breakaway. The one thing is we want to clear the zone and make sure they don't have a chance to get a shot. So... Pucks one into the corner. That right D, in this case, is going to be chasing that puck into the corner. Now, he's going to have that guy chasing him into the corner, too. So, he's got to be quick, and he's going to rim it around the boards. You don't want to go too hard that you ice it, but you need to go hard enough that it gets out of the zone in case we don't, you know, have guys there. And we don't want to go too soft where it gets bounces off the boards or comes back into the center or gets intercepted. So there will be only one four checker chasing our right D while he's going into the corner if the center throws a pick. That right wing is still headed up there towards the far far D man. Now the left wing, this is where he has to read, did we win or did we lose? If we win, he needs to go to those far boards and he's going to be the person who's got to chip it out if it doesn't get out. So he's going to try to catch that puck as it rims around the boards. And there's a lot of things that'll happen as that progresses. Now for everyone else, the left D is going to hang out near the net in case, you know, we flub the pass, uh, we turn it over, but we need to make sure the front of the net is still guarded so there's nobody left wide open in the slot. Okay, so in this scenario, we have the left wing picking up the puck at or near the halfway between the, in the zone, maybe closer to the, to the point. He's probably gonna pull that defenseman in with him. So if he's not covered, just skate it out. Most likely, he's going to come to try to pick that puck off. So the number one thing, you as a left wing or you as the right wing, if it's flipped, the number one thing you need to do is get it out of the zone. Chip it off the boards, chip it off the glass, chip it up. Now the good thing about that is our right wing is already pretty close to full speed leaving the zone. He's reading this. Now if you just chip it out anywhere, you're already behind that D-man if he's pressuring you. Now, if we're not able to chip it right out because the puck, our man, the D-man, all get there around the same time or the D-man beats us to the puck, that's why we need our center providing support. Now, in this image, I drew him up too high. He should probably be kind of near the dot. So you're kind of the support so that if, if there's like 
a battle going along the boards for for this puck and it squirts out you're the one to pick it up get it up to the right wing get it out of the zone that's the best scenario like if we win this draw clean this is what we want to do we just want to rim it out and then off to the races but we're out of the zone which is the number one thing that's keeping us from shooting more okay let's say we lose a draw clean in this case we still got our right wing going straight towards his d-man if it goes to him we've got our right wing always in the shooting lane that red dash so when we lose the draw that left wing is going to read that and instead of going to the boards he's going to go to the other d-man and he's going to get right on top of them because you'll see that once he gets up there if there's a DDD pass, if we've got two of our guys already making a play and having their sticks in the right spot, A, we've got both shooting lanes from the point blocked, and we've got a chance to pick off any cross-size pass for a breakaway or whatever. You can also see here that when we block off the shooting and the passing lanes, we almost force the play to the outside. So you can see here that the puck will go down, and we've got our center on their center or their wing here. We've got their players covered. So we... We lose the draw clean, but we're in good defensive position, and we've kept the puck from getting right back into the, the scoring area. Okay, so now you're going to see why we can't line up the way we traditionally do. Here's basically how we usually line up. We have our right wing on the, on the boards. We have a D-man hanging back. Sometimes he's on the goal line. He should be a little closer. And then a lot of times that left wing will be almost on the other dot. So you can see here if we lose a draw to the D-man like we did in an earlier image, that right wing is coming up from the board, so he's giving away that shooting lane. Um, instead of coming right at attacking him between him and the net, he's coming out from the side, so he's letting their D-man have all that open space towards the middle to read and make a play or get a shot through. And you'll also see the other problem is, is that when we don't have good wing coverage up high we start to pull everybody up when the puck gets lost so you'll see a lot of times like the D will end up on the point somehow centers will end up in the corners and we end up so many times with guys left alone down low for for easy shots so now we're just going to look at a couple examples from last game where we lined up we'll look at how we lined up and how that affected what we did Okay, here everyone is in the right area, but we have our left wing too far to the left, so he's giving away that shooting lane right there. He should be closer in. And our right wing is in the corner, where he should be up on that other winger over there. Otherwise, we're in good shape to start. Okay, you can see now, right wing went straight to the point. He got in the way of a pass. He blocked it. Um, if it bounces a little differently, we're off for a breakaway. Left wing was a little late to get up to his point, but we've got our right D retreating back to D. We've got our center playing D. We're in great defensive positioning. We're set up pretty good here. We've got our left wing in tighter, so he's closer to the shooting lane, but we've got our right D who's giving up too much space on the right. Same thing, we got in the way of the puck. Now it's squirted to the outside. We're in good defensive position. We force the puck carrier back to the play. He's got no options. We've got the slot covered. We've got um, pressure from behind. We've got the points covered. So his only option is to keep coming down or throw a blind pass in the middle. There's that blind pass, but we've got it covered. Big poke check out of the zone. We've got our wings up high, so it's a two on two out of the zone. So we lost the face off, but we got the puck real quick. Okay, on this one we're lined up incorrectly again. We've got, um, we're giving up this whole corner of the ice to them. So basically right now as we line up, we have our center against three of them. There's nobody else on the boards to support our center in case we lose the draw, which we'll play it forward and we do. And then watch how quickly it goes south. So I'm gonna play it forward three seconds. Okay, so we lost the draw and we've got our center with two guys on him, so we can assume that we're going to lose that battle. But what happened is our D has crept up and they're now, you know, you can see this huge area that only one of their guys is in and none of our guys are in. So you're going to see what happens is that they, they 
push it down low. We don't have anybody covering this open guy, so we both end up trying to take him over. We lose the other guy, and there it is in the net. Here we're lined up again with our D too far in the corner, but we win this draw clean. This is where we need that left wing. You see he stalls. Puck's already coming around the, uh, around the boards. We don't have any momentum going that way. So we lose that race of the puck. Not only that, we don't have a stick anywhere near that guy. So he's got an open shot, which he's going to take while he's got guys in front of the net. So we won that draw. We turned it over, basically, because we didn't immediately read what happened. Okay, let's look at one more. Okay, once again, we're lined up correctly except this D. So you can see right here, we win the draw, but because we're hanging back so far, we don't have a clean path to the puck, and they're able to get in there, cause problems. But because we've already skated out to the points, we're able to be in better defensive position, which you're going to see the rest, and we're able to eventually get it out of the zone because we're all defensively responsible. So to review, we just need to clean up where everyone's lining up, and it's the simplest thing ever. You don't need any skill to be prepared to line up correctly. So we do that. It's an either or for your position, whether you skate somewhere or you skate somewhere else. Um, I think we can make a lot of good progress real quick. Um, and you can see, I hope that seeing what we can do when we do this correctly and incorrectly helps. So let's get at it.